So this is where you live, huh? In the Fade? Yeah, it's cozy. And the gods can't find us here. Right. Never going to get used to that. We'll find you in a sun and nice. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Treviso and Minrathis are both under attack. Blighted dragons. Two of them. One for each city. Damn it. So the dragon at Demetis Crossing wasn't the only one. You got back just in time. Then grab your gear and let's go. Go where? We cannot be in two places at once. Treviso's a merchant city. It has no defenses, and the canals run everywhere. If we don't stop that dragon, people will die. Innocent people. My people. They either die right away from the dragon, or slowly after, from blight in the water. We need to go to Treviso. And leave Minrathus to burn? Nev. You're a shadow, Dragonrook. You know the Viper, Tarquin, every damn shadow. We'll fight to the end, but people will get hurt, or worse. And if we fail, the Venatori will take advantage. They'll make a push for the throne and hand the gods the entire Tevinter Empire. Have we been able to... Damn it! There's no time! It's my city! Ah, oh, city! I need to be in Minrathus. And I must go to Treviso. Go where you feel you must, Rook. We cannot wait. What's our move, Rook? Shit. I was not expecting this. I'm a shadow dragon. That's what I'm gonna do. We help Nev in Minrathus. But the Treviso civilians! Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. But if the Venatori take control of Tevinter, it's gonna get a whole lot worse. That said, two of you should go to Treviso. See if you can help Lucanus get the civilians to safety. And we'll head to Minrathus. Understood. Let's all try to make it through this alive, all right? Dragon circling the Anderalus grounds. Gotta hurry! All right, let's go. I was expecting it to be bad, but... Nev has to be around here somewhere. Let's go! They mean to suffer! Your lord demands death! Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to lose reputation with the, the crows, aren't I? I did not think something like this was going to happen so soon. Rook, about time. You knew I'd come. It's your city too. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. If we can keep it here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right. Let's see if I can get its attention. than I thought.
It's gone, but it's wounded. We were so close. I know we can beat that thing. Oh, if only we were faster, or figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. We're able to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. The dragon in Treviso. We could still help. Let's go. Hold on, Lucanis. We're on our way. Chased away the dragon in Menrathus. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows. But. I swore to keep Minrathus safe when I joined the Shadow Dragons. I had a duty. Then I hope you understand how we feel. We do not fault your loyalty to your people, Rook, but Treviso has suffered. Rook, you know Grey Wardens. Can they do anything about the Blighted Canals? Maybe not right away. They'll have their hands full with the gods. Just send them word, please. We will not be idle. There are people to save, and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. Then I can focus on Treviso. Once we find our footing, the blood of these gods will flow. When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt, in hopes of finding the servants of Algernon and Gerame. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antom are working for Algernon and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. And they're using that power to hurt a lot of people. The Antarm and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Nrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The Blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Algernon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Algernon and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and blighted slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The Veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the Veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. We thought you were just bringing the Veil down to destroy everything. If we'd have known... Thousands would still have perished. 
Varric would never have agreed to such a plan. Why would you agree to it? The world is broken because of my past choices. It falls to me to heal it. Even if that healing comes with a cost. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I don't care what they call me. If they're calling me anything, it means they're still alive. That's all that matters. Acceptance. You are willing to face the consequences your actions may one day bring because the world needs you. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yes, we found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganan's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solus thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. I wouldn't trust the Dreadwolf, but he's not wrong about us needing a dragon hunter. I've been a warden for a while. Seen some pretty awful things. But what the dragon did to Treviso? I'll never get that out of my head. Rukana stayed. Said he'd be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. Then we find one. Next time a blighted dragon comes calling, it'll be the last time it comes calling. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long. Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? Trust is such a strong word, you know? So you don't trust him? Uh... All right, then. So a Fade expert and a dragon hunter. I'll ask around about dragon hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> See, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. <laughs> 